whole business is working to stay afloat after flooding washed away its gear. Foggy Bottom Canoe Rocks is missing dozens of its paddle boats after the storms. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs talked with staff who say they are determined to bounce back just like they did in 2010. We've got around 150 canoes and maybe uh, 100 or so kayaks. And we lost, uh, we lost, I think, around 30 or 40, you know, in the flood. Staff at Foggy Bottom Canoe Rocks found their business floating downstream. The river came up so high, it picked them up and took them before I knew what happened. Last weekend's floods came pouring down on the canoe and kayaking rental company in Kingston Springs. The flood water got so high it washed chairs from backyards into trees, uprooting storage racks from the ground and damaging thousands of dollars in property. There's no way to describe looking out one day and everything's outside in, in the parking lot looking good and a few hours later, it's like the river is up here at my house. Pat Hutcherson says her business is no stranger to flood damage and because of the history, it can wash up some painful memories. It was just a nightmare. I had PTSD. It was like 2010 all over again. Those feelings came flooding back. It was 11 years ago, but it seems like it was just yesterday. Just a week from planning to open, Hutcherson says they now need to rebuild and hopefully find the missing canoes and kayaks to save on costs. I'm guessing they're caught up in trees downriver from Highway 70 Bridge they would have gone towards the Cumberland. But like 2010, Hutcherson says they will survive, which is thanks to the Kingston Springs community. We came through the 2010 flood, so I can come through just about anything else. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Staff say just a couple have been found and returned so far. If you see a foggy bottom canoe or kayak, please give staff a call or return it.